everybody had a nose across the USA. Then everybody be served like California. It just may be enough to lure Moondoggy and Gidget away from the beach. Snowboarding has grown in popularity so quickly that there is a professional tour of sorts which stopped this weekend at Breckenridge for the World Snowboard Classic. Tom Sims is recognized as the inventor of the snowboard, having come up with the idea 23 years ago at the age of 13. He now manufactures them commercially and speaks in a language perhaps only a snowboarder can understand. Full-length metal edges and uh, graphite underneath the uh, centered PTEX and ABS and Kevlar and graphite reinforced binding. So the sports... <laughs> what the hell does all that mean? It means the sport's gone high-tech. No one's going to get rich snowboarding. First prize in this weekend's competition is between $750 and $1,000 in cash and merchandise. Well, this is only my really my second competition, but uh, I figure I'm going to stick with it until my back doesn't work anymore. <laughs> The real attraction to snowboarding is what's known as half-piping. It's skateboarding without the skates, and it's packed with phrases such as, Rip it up, dude. Is this still in style? Oh, Grateful Dead shirts. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> How serious do you take all this stuff? You know, like ACDC says, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. I heard they said that. <laughs> It'll become the mainstream winter sport for teenagers and guys in their 20s. Uh, within five years, I believe. Tell the teacher we're serving, serving USA. From Breckenridge, John Keating, Seven Sports.